He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Today we're going to check out a problem regarding limiting reagents. So the question is, if 0.5 moles of barium chloride is mixed with 0.2 moles of sodium phosphate, what is the maximum number of moles of barium phosphate that can form? And so in order to answer this, we're going to need to know a little bit about stoichiometry and also about limiting reagents. So I have a couple of tutorials on those topics if you need some review. And when you're ready, give this a try. So the first thing we're going to want to do is write out the chemical equation. So we know that barium chloride is going to react with sodium phosphate. And so the products are going to be barium phosphate, as we see here, and then also sodium chloride uh, for the other two ions that are not associated with barium phosphate. So that is the chemical equation. However, this is not a balanced chemical equation. We're going to look over here. We have three barium ions and two phosphate ions in this product. And so we're going to have to add some coefficients on the left. In order to get three barium ions on the right, we need three barium chlorides, and in order to get two phosphate ions, we're going to need two sodium phosphates. And then once we have that, we have to place a coefficient in front of NaCl. We can see that we're going to have six sodium ions and six chloride ions, so we need a six in front of NaCl as well. And now this is a balanced chemical equation, which means we're able to make stoichiometric calculations. So let's put our uh, amounts of moles here. We know we have 0.5 moles and 0.2 moles of the reactants respectively. And so let's take each compound and see how much of the other compound would be needed in order for it to react completely. So first, let's take all of our 0.5 moles of barium chloride. Now we have this three to two ratio, so that means two thirds as much sodium phosphate will be needed as we have barium chloride. And so 0.5 moles of barium chloride will need 0.33 moles of sodium phosphate in order to react completely. The thing is that we do not have 0.33 moles of sodium phosphate. We only have 0.2 moles. So it looks like sodium phosphate is probably going to run out before all the barium chloride is, uh, it has a chance to react. Now by contrast, 0.2 moles of sodium phosphate will need three halves as many moles of barium chloride, right? Because it's a three to two ratio. So essentially a time and a half, which would be 0.3 moles of barium chloride. And we do have 0.3 moles. We have more than that, which means that all of the sodium phosphate will run out and we'll have more barium chloride left over. Barium chloride will be in excess. So either way we look at it, it's very clear that sodium phosphate is the limiting reagent and barium chloride is the reagent in excess. So we can go ahead and make our stoichiometric calculation using the amount of sodium phosphate because that is going to be what limits this reaction. So let's take our 0.2 moles of sodium phosphate and we want to know the maximum number of moles of barium phosphate that can form. And we see that this is in a two to one ratio. For every two moles of sodium phosphate, we get one mole of barium phosphate phosphate in the product. So let's just multiply by one mole of barium phosphate over two moles of sodium phosphate. And that will just mean we're dividing by two, and that gives us 0.1 moles of barium phosphate as our answer. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.